in case you didn't get the memo about the update video, I'm doing Minecraft. Yeah. Made it kind of obvious. But first, let's start off with a theory. I don't want to do one of these for a while. And we're going to discuss who exactly is Steve. Now, there are multiple answers for this one. I'm going to go in order. There is information on the back that will vary depending on what. So here are the ground ones. Cows, pigs, sheep, sheep, chicken, squid, bats, and spiders are non-mutate. Creepers are mutated plants. Zombies are... Zombies depend with some of the theories. Skeletons are just undead. Okay? They're just skeletons. Villagers are humanoid mutants. Endermen are mutant people. Okay. Well, at least I think they're mutant people. It might vary in this theory. Wolves and ocelots are helpers. Slimes are mutated jello. Hero Brine, and this varies within series because it was only involved in one series. Actually, I'm not sure which one. It's been a while since it came up. Is your conscience? Mushrooms are mutant mushroom cows. That's about it. If you're one of your mobs didn't get listed, it's because it's not important. So, it's even angel. And this is the one that I talked long and hard about. The answer is no. Now you see, the thing is, we don't know who is Steve. And the theory goes like this. Steve came down from heaven to save the villagers, who are the humanoid mutants from the evil devil zombie thing. Yeah. And then, um, the ender, and endermen and zombies are apparently devils. And ender dragon, the ender dragon is the big devil. Not sure what it's called, but it's the big devil. So, the reason I can disprove this theory is because if the Ender Dragon was the big devil, then why would it be protecting its egg? Hmm? I mean, it's like, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure devils wouldn't protect their children. I'm pretty sure they'd rather just leave them in garbage cans than go away. Or something. Is he evil? This is debatable, but let's give you a picture. Spiders, defending their territory after a million years of apocalypse. That's right, Minecraft probably takes place after the apocalypse. The spiders attack Steve because they're unwary after the apocalypse. Cows, chickens, pigs, all that good stuff that doesn't attack you that are animals, those are just, they just don't really understand. They've been through an apocalypse, they just don't understand. Villagers are, are human, but mutated after nuclear radiation. It's the apocalypse. There's going to be radiation all around. Zombies and skeletons are the undead people. Endermen are mutated people, which is why you don't, and they're embarrassed that they got mutated into that way, so they, so that's why they attack you when, when you look at them. So, the thing is, this theory doesn't go in specific detail. I made up all these theories. I haven't heard of anybody making up these theories. I've made them up myself. The thing is, 
I didn't go with the theory in detail. I mean, it pretty much applies to some of the other theories of the bit. So, but going with the Ender Dragon part that disproves the Angel theory. Go and and the fact that he's killing creatures that have just gone through war. Well, actually, I'm not sure what causes the, of the apocalypse. Going to creatures that have gone through nuclear radiation and apocalypse. He's killing them. That also explains why Steve is the only quote unquote normal. Sorry, I got a marker on my hand. I just went to summer stage camp. Human. That's about all I have to say for the evil one. Apocalypse Survivor. Now you see, this makes sense. No sense. I just said the apocalypse is is before Minecraft. So that makes sense. The thing is, there's really nothing else to prove this theory. I mean, one person out of the eight bajillion people on Earth survived the apocalypse. Uh, you'd think there'd be more non-mutated people. Am I right? Let's go then to the next one. He's a mutant. Yeah. Steve is mutated himself. He... That explains why he can travel through dimensions. Yeah, every Minecraft world is apparently a dimension in this theory. I came up with some more theories. And... It explains why... There is... There's, like, nobody on Earth. I mean... Apocalypse Survivor doesn't make sense because there'd be at least one person on Earth. Earth. If he's a mutant, it explains why there's, like, no regular people on Earth. But they're mutated creatures. Next is Psychopath, which means... Actually, I'm not sure what Psychopath is. But what I mean by that is... Steve is crazy. Minecraft is going on in his head. That's it. Minecraft is just happening in his head. Mm -hmm. That explains why he seems to be the quote-unquote hero of Minecraft. He does everything. If he didn't kill the zombies, there'd be more zombie villagers. If he didn't think... Mm -hmm. It also explains why he's apparently immortal. He, since he's just imagining this, he, it explains why he's immortal. The evil part doesn't explain why he's immortal, and the others do. An angel, he would just... He's already dead, I guess. I'm not sure. Apocalypse survivor, he could have been... Okay, the apocalypse survivor doesn't explain really either. Mutant can explain the bit, and Psychopath explains the bit. Then we have he's an alien, which would explain a lot. He is the only one of his kind on this strange world. Why is that? Why is that? Because he doesn't belong on this planet. He must have came to this planet in some rescue mission or something. And then he kind of got stranded. And now he has to survive. Or something. I'm not sure. But those are my Steve theories. Leave in the comments what your Steve theory is. I'm signing out. It's okay. He just got a little out of orbit. Oh. Ending. Bye.